Hey there, it's Ms. Bresnahan, and I want to show you how to do your population problems for our unit in a population. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started here. There's a few different types of problems that you are going to be asked to perform mathematically. You should have a calculator out, and while I go over some of these examples, I want you to also be following along with me. It's going to be really important that you're able to make these calculations and not just watch somebody else do it. So get ready to participate. Population problems. Okay. So the first type of problem that you are going to have to uh, solve is determining the growth rate of a population. Now, remember that growth rate is equal to inputs minus outputs over the population before you had inputs and outputs. So maybe at the beginning of the year, if we're talking about a country. And then you just take that and you multiply it times 100 so that you can then get a percent. Well, you guys are going to be using some numbers that um, like crude birth rate and then also crude death rate. So we'll abbreviate those uh, CBR and CDR. So this is the number of births or the number of deaths that occur in a year for every 1,000 people that live in that country. And so keeping that in mind, you know, you're going to be given some problems where crude birth rate is calculated for you already, or it's given to you, crude death rate is given to you already. And in some cases, you are going to have to go ahead and calculate those numbers. And I'll show you how to do that. So the thing with it, you know, I've, I've taught you that this is how you calculate growth rate. Um, but we can make this a lot simpler if you have crude birth rate and crude death rate. And so if you have those values, then growth rate, lowercase r, is going to be equal to crude birth rate inputs minus outputs, crude death rate, and you're not going to divide by n, okay? Because those numbers are already accounting for a thousand individuals in a population, you are going to get a percent by dividing by 10 period. Now you have to remember that. You have to remember that in order to, to, um, to calculate growth rate, it's just CBR minus CDR over 10. Done. Okay. Um, now, if there were migrants, in other words, there's people coming, there's people going, there is immigration and there is emigration. If there are migrants, then the growth rate needs to account for that as well. And so you calculate it, calculate it using um, inputs minus out, outputs over 10. But this time your inputs are births. So you're going to say crude birth rate. And then you're going to add that to how many immigrants there are per 1,000 individuals. Per 1,000. Remember, crude birth rates. That's what's in our growth rate formula. And then you're going to then subtract outputs. And that's going to be your crude death rate plus emigration, people leaving per 1,000 individuals. Emigration rate. So immigration and emigration per is also per 1,000. And then divide that by 10. The other thing that you are going to be asked to do, okay, so you're going to have to calculate growth rate, and then you're also going to be asked to calculate doubling time. This is how long it takes for a population to double. Um, and so, and this will be in years. Don't try to employ some other technique. When you're taking the AP test at the end of the year, you need to do things quickly use the rule of 70. It's very simple. All you have to do to calculate doubling time, it'll be in years, just take 70 and divide by R. Now this will only work, okay, so doubling time will be in years, and that'll work 
as long as this is in percent. And if you calculate it this way, your R value will be in percent. If you calculate it this way, your R value will be in percent. Pretty easy, huh? Let's look at some examples and then you'll feel even more comfortable about this. So let's just pretend that we have a population, okay, at the beginning of the year, the fiscal year, is they have a population of 750,000 people. Okay, 750,000 people. Let's say that within that year, there are 1,000 births and there are 900 deaths. Okay, so you might imagine that this population isn't going to go grow very quickly because they have a lot of people dying for as how many births that there there are. Now let's also pretend in this population that that there's no immigration and there's no emigration, just to make it easy for this time. Okay, great. Now, this is the raw information. This is the raw data. We have births are a thousand people. This is not crude birth rate and that's not crude death rate. And so if we want to figure out growth rate and doubling time, then we need to figure out our crude values. So you want to calculate that first. Crude birth rate we don't know and so what you would do then is you would just say okay there's 1,000 people born just use cross, cross multiplication 1,000 people born for every 750 people in the population and remember that a crude birth rate or death rate is births per 1,000 individuals. So we know what it is per 750,000. What is it per 1,000? Okay, so cross multiplication, 1,000 times 1,000 over 750,000 is going to give you your X value. Okay, go ahead and perform that calculation. Uh, your answer should be 1.33. And it's just a plain old value. That's the crude birth rate. All right, let's go ahead and calculate crude death rate now. Now you could pause the video and you can do this on your own and then you can just check your work when you restart the video. So we have 900 people for every 750,000 is X over 1,000. And you should calculate that crude death rate is 1.2. All right, let's go ahead and use those numbers then and let's calculate uh, growth rate, and then let's calculate doubling time. So just to remind you, the crude birth rate, we'll just make sure that we have it up here. And the crude death rate, growth rate is CBR, inputs minus outputs, over 10. Now the number that you get, the number that you calculate, it is already in percent, and so, 0.013%. That is the percent rate of natural increase for this particular um, place. That is what the, the, the country is going to change. Um, just multiply the current population times that percent, and then you will um, end up with how much the population is going to grow over the course of a year. So let's go ahead and calculate doubling time now. Leave R in percent, 0 0.013. So 
So for this population, it would take 5,384.6 years to double. Now, just a side note here. If doubling time is, let's say it's a negative value, that means that the population is not growing and instead that population is shrinking. And so it will never, ever, ever double given that current growth rate. Okay, so that is a problem where you are only given crude birth rate and death rate while you had to calculate it, but you weren't given immigration and emigration. So let's look at an example that includes immigration and emigration, and also you have to figure out growth rate and doubling time. So let's say that the population is 60 million people. And by the way, for some of these problems, it might be easier for you to change things to scientific notation. So this would be 6 times 10 to the 3, 6, 7. In your calculator, you would type that as 6E7, or EE -E in your calculator um, is how you would type that in. So there's the population. Let's say that births, 1 million and 100 thousand deaths there's 75,000 okay scientific notation 1.1 times 10 to the sixth and 7.5 times 10 and let's just say that there are people coming in and there are people going total people um, coming in is 50 50 people <laughs> that's it 50 people coming in, but maybe things aren't so great. And there's more people leaving. 6,000 people in a year um, leave. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate uh, crude birth rate, crude death rate, immigration rate, and emigration rate. And then we're going to calculate growth rate, rate of percent rate of natural increase, and doubling time. So go ahead and pause this video, or you can follow along with me. So crude birth rate. First, 1.1 1. 1 times 10 to the 6 out of 6 times 10 to the 7th, you're fine, equals x over 1,000. And so the crude birth rate would be 18.33. And crude death rate is 75,000 deaths out of our 60 million people population, or 6 times... 10 to the 7th is x over 1,000. So crude death rate, when you calculate it, you should get 1.25. All right, so we have crude birth rate and crude death rate, and now we need to calculate what the um, immigration and emigration rates would be. So 50 people out of 60 million equals what out of a thousand and you're going to get a pretty small number there right so 0 0.00083 or 8.3 times 10 to the 1 2 3 4 negative 4 6 times 10 to the 3rd over 10 to the 7th equals x over 1,000. So x, or emigration rate, is going to equal 0 0.1. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and calculate uh, growth rate and doubling time. Okay, so the growth rate, the percent growth rate, I'll go ahead and put that there, is going to be equal to your inputs minus your total outputs. Okay, so adding our inputs together and then subtracting the sum of our outputs and then just divide that by 10. Go ahead and take a moment and do that and see if you get the same thing as me.
All right, 1.69% for growth rate. And let's go ahead and just wrap this section up and figure out doubling time. Okay, so it would take 41.42 years for that population to double. Um, and just to kind of put this into better terms here, what's 0.42 years? What exactly is that? And let's just put that in like months instead. And you're going to have to do some conversion for your, um, for your practice too. So 0 0.42 years if one year and I want to put it in months. I mean, I could put it in days too, but I think months makes sense. Um, one year is 12 months. Little dimensional analysis for you, which is the setup that you should be using for any conversion problem in AP Environmental Science. Years cancels out, and I'm just multiplying 0 0.42 times 12, 5.04 months. So doubling time will be 41 years and about five months.